Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at how to make a Starbucks cup in Blender. Now it doesn't have to be Starbucks, they're not paying me for this, so if you want to make a Costa cup or a Nero cup or a cup for whatever drink you like to have, um, then that's fine. But my model is based on the cup that you get from Starbucks. So first of all I'm going to click on the default cube that you get when you start Blender and I don't want that so I'm going to press the X key and choose delete. Now I'm going to add a new object so I'll go to add mesh and choose cylinder. Now this cylinder is going to be the lid of the cup and the first thing I've got to do is squash it so that it's flat enough so I'll press S and then Z and when I move the mouse it should get uh, flatter and I think probably about that is the right size for this cup. Now I also want to make the lid a bit bigger so I'm just going to press the S key and pull it out to make it slightly larger. Now we're ready to start adding some shape to this lid so I'm going to go up to the top left and change object mode to edit mode. And I'm also going to go to these three icons, which are the three different types of thing you can select. And I'm going to click on the last one, which means I select whole faces. Now, once I've chosen face select, if I click on the top of the lid, it's going to select the circle on top of the lid. And that's what I want. Now I press the I key which stands for inset and it allows me to create a smaller circle which is inset from the larger circle of the lid. Now I'm going to press E to extend and that allows me to lift up that circle a little bit in order to create the shape of the cup lid. Now I'm going to press S and just shrink that circle a bit so that the sides of the lid are sloping. That's enough, I think. Now I'll press I again to inset another small circle. Now I'll press E again. And this time, instead of moving up, I'm going to move down so that I get the inside of the lid. And then lastly, I'm going to press S again to make that circle a bit smaller so that the sides are slanting. Now that looks quite a lot like the lid of a Starbucks coffee cup, but we need the cup itself. Um, so I'm going to go to the bottom and click on the bottom circle and then I'll press I again and inset a small circle inside. This is going to be the top of the cup. Now I'm going to press E again and pull down. This is going to be the body of the cup. Now um, later on I'm going to need to put a label on this body. So um, we're actually going to need to split this body, but for the time being, let's just pull the body down and click. And then lastly, I need to make the bottom of the cup a bit smaller. So I'll press S and drag the mouse in until the cup looks about right. And I think that's about right. OK, so there's the shape of my Starbucks cup. OK, now the next step is I want to give it a color. So in order to give something a color, you have to give it a material. So I'm going to go over to the right and scroll until I find this icon, which is a circle with a checkerboard pattern. I'll click on that and then click new to make a new material. This is going to be the plastic cup material. So I'll click on where it says material 001 and I'll give it a new name. I'm going to call it plastic cup. Now, if I go over to the edit window and press the A key, it will select everything in my cup. And then I'm going to click assign. And what that does is it makes sure that everything I selected is made of the plastic cup material. Now, the plastic cup material is white and that's actually OK. Um, I want a white color, so I don't really need to change anything else for now. Now, the next step is, um, although the cup looks OK, um, I want to put a logo on the side. I'm going to put the Starbucks logo on the side. Now, in order to see um, when I start editing the logo, I need to change the display 
mode. So um, I go up to the top right and I choose the third one along. So this is the material preview mode. When I click on it, you should see that we can see the white color of the cup a bit more clearly. Now I'm going to go back into edit mode because I came out of edit mode a bit earlier on. And then I'm going to move over to the cup and I need to cut the side of the cup in two places. So I'm going to do that by holding down control and pressing the R key. And that gives me a ring around the side of the cup. If you don't see the ring, just move the mouse around because the ring that you get depends on where the mouse is positioned. But what I want is a horizontal ring around the side of the cup like this. And if I scroll up a bit, it will give me two horizontal rings, which is what I want. Now I just double click with the mouse. That's cut the side of the cup so that I've got a band in the middle of the cup and I'm going to use that to put my logo on. So I'm going to go up to the top and choose face select again. Now I'm going to click on one of the faces on the side of the cup and I'll hold down shift and click on a few more faces until I've got a shape that's roughly square. Okay, now this is where I'm going to put the logo and we've got to load the logo image in. So I'm going to go to UV editing at the top and I'm going to load the logo into here. So I'll go to um, the, uh, hold on a moment, maybe I need to open up a bit of space. There we are. So I go to the open button and in my downloads folder, I have saved starbucks.png. Now this is the Starbucks logo. If you uh, want, you can use the Starbucks logo or you can use whatever logo you want to use. It's up to you. Um, now, once I've loaded in that Starbucks menu, uh, Starbucks logo, I'm ready to go back to the layout option at the top. And then I'll go back into edit mode and we have to put that logo onto that area. Now to do that, I need to create another material. So I'll go back to the materials tab. That's the circle with the checkerboard on it. And then I'll click the plus icon to add a new material. Click new. And this new material, I'm going to call it logo. OK, now the new material, when I move down, Next to base color, there's a dot. I'm going to click on that dot and choose image texture. And then I get to choose which image I want to use as my textures. In this case, it's going to be the Starbucks logo. OK, now the Starbucks logo at the moment isn't displaying on the side of the cup properly. So what I have to do is, first of all, click on UV editing again. Secondly, on the uh, 3D view, I'm going to press the U key and choose Unwrap. Now, when I choose Unwrap, you will see that the five rectangles on the side of the cup have been converted into five rectangles on the side of the Starbucks logo. Now, these rectangles are really squished up along the bottom of the Starbucks coffee logo. And what I want to do is make these rectangles cover the whole logo. So I'm going to do that by first of all pressing A to select all of those rectangles and then pressing S to scale the rectangles and then pressing Y so that they only scale in the Y direction. That lets me open up the rectangles a bit. I'm going to press G to move the rectangles about. I'm just trying to get these rectangles over the top of the Starbucks coffee logo. Now, one side is a bit shorter than the other, so I'm going to do another uh, trick because I'm going to choose line select or edge select. And then I'm just going to select all of the points down the edge and just scale those along the Y axis just to make it a bit more accurate and then maybe scale everything. It takes a little bit of fiddling to get these rectangles to overlap the logo exactly. But there we go. Now, 
the logo might not be in the correct orientation. Let's have a look. So I'm going to click on layout again. And then when I cycle around, hold on, I'm not seeing any logo at all. That's not good. Um, did I assign it? Let's go back to the edit mode. And then I'm going to choose assign. And there we go. There's my logo. Um, now you can see it's actually sideways. So um, I'm going to go back to UV editing and press R to rotate. And instead of rotating it by hand, I'm going to type 90 for 90 degrees and press enter. And then when I go back, now my logo is in the correct location. Now, it's a little bit annoying that it's got a black background. I wanted it to have a white background. Um, it does have transparency, but I'm not sure why that's not showing up at the moment. OK, uh, you know, I'm going to leave it with the black background for the time being. Um, now, the last thing you might want to do is to smooth out your cup. So I'll go to object and choose uh, shade smooth and that will make the cup look a bit smoother. Um, and there's my finished Starbucks cup. Now, um, I'm not super happy with the black background of the Starbucks logo. Um, I'm going to see if I can figure that out, um, but I won't do it in this video because uh, it might take me a little while to work out what I've done wrong there. Um, but guys, by the time uh, you see this video in lesson, I should know how to fix it. So I hope that all made sense to you. Um, and I hope you've managed to make a great cup. Um, if you do manage to get the cup made, um, then I think other things you could add would be to put a straw inside the cup and maybe also make a saucer to go with it. And if you're really good, you could even put a cookie on the saucer because who doesn't like to have a chocolate chip cookie with their coffee? Um, I think that is the perfect compliment. Okay, thanks very much, guys. That's it for today.